Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi Mi 9T, also known as the Redmi K20. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 340 bucks. I repeat, 340 bucks. Now the phone comes in three different colors. You got flame red, glacier blue, and carbon black. I think y'all know which one I got. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now this is a GSM only phone. So if you got AT&T or T-Mobile, you're good to go. If you got Sprint or Verizon, you asked out. For the display, you got a 6.39 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. That has 403 for the PPI Patrol. The build is Gorilla Glass 5 with an aluminum frame. And when you watch your videos, you're gonna watch them in a 19 by five by nine aspect ratio. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 with the Adreno 618 GPU. What does that mean? Mid-range specs, bro. And on a side note, a lot of people was asking me why I was bitching so much about the price of the Galaxy A80. This is why. Same exact processor, same GPU, half the price. Do the math yourself. Now it's running Android 9 VIP with the MIUI 10 skin on top. You got six gigs of RAM and either 64 or 128 gigs of storage. No micro SD card slot for expandable memory. For the battery, you got a 4,000 milliamp battery that features 18 watt fast charging. Now Xiaomi claims you could charge it from zero to 50% in 30 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 48 megapixel F1.8, that's your wide angle. You got an 8 megapixel f2.4, that's your telephoto, and you got a 13 megapixel f2.4, that's your ultra wide angle. On the front, you got the pop-up selfie cam. That has 20 megapixels f2.0, and it features LED lights inside of the camera. That's going to look sick. You got Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, FM radio, USB Type-C. You got a headphone jack. You got an on-screen fingerprint sensor, always on display, and face unlock. So what's missing from my checklist? No IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no expandable memory, no wireless charge, and no dual speakers. But all of that for 340 bucks, bro, I'm not complaining. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, white shoes. calm down. All right, let me grab a little unboxing knife. We got the far from home. Here we go. Xiaomi Mi 9T. Nice black box. Nice and simple. Let's open this up. Rah. Here we go. Now take a guess what color I went with. Let's do the shake test. All right, this box is trolling. Okay, here we go. All right, this ain't easy. Okay. So we got a nice presentation alert inside. Got another box, let's see what's in here. Now let's see if this is one stop shopping. And when I say that, I mean all your cases and headphones. USI, you got your SIM ejection tool. That's number one on the list. Got your usual books and shit. Plug them, file them to the side. And yes, you do have a case. Now let's see this case. Oh, this is a nice case right here. Soft matte feel on this one. No fingerprints. No razivity, no slam boy certifications, but it is what it is. Here's your device. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay. Now, you got your USB Type-C charging cable, white in color. And this is going to be your fast charging brick. 18 watts. Now, this is international status, but do your thing. Let's see. That's pretty much it. No headphones. Nope. That's it. Now, for the device itself, I went with the carbon black. Let me peel this off. Check this out. If Now, y'all know how I feel about carbon fiber. I don't know if y'all can see this closely, but look underneath there. You see some carbon fiber accents. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! Smells like race car. All right, shoes, I need you to scoot, scoot. All right, scoot, scoot. Check this out. You see that little red hit around the camera? I love that. Nice little weight on this, definitely glass build, definitely uh, definitely aluminum trim. Wow, that's, let me say it the real way, aluminum. Red power button, red camera. Let's see if we got any juice. There it is. 
Right, shoes. Shoes is in rare form today. Look at them white shoes. They're extra clean, though. I'll give her that. The white shoes is definitely extra clean. Okay, on the back, there's a triple camera setup. On the bottom, USB Type-C charging. There's your speaker grill. Got a little mic. Headphone jack on the top. There's your pop-up selfie camera. All right, shoes, I'm about to follow you in 2.5 seconds. This is going to be your SIM tray on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let me drop some of my information in. But before I get out of here and start run, uh, running my daily errands, I need y'all to see this pop-up camera. All right, talk amongst yourselves. All right, so I'm getting ready to run out and do my usual testing. But before I go, I want y'all to see the pop-up selfie camera. Check this out. All right, so I'm going to open up camera. Keep your eyes out for that red LED. Here we go. You see that? You hear that sound? Oh, this is so sick. Let me give y'all one more. Oh, this is a go. Now, this is already killing the Galaxy A80 for one major reason. Watch this. I'm gonna swipe up. You can use the pop-up selfie camera for face unlock. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Samsung has left the chat. Bye. All right, so I'll be back in a few hours, and we'll finish this off. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I've been using this phone all afternoon, and I got to be honest with y'all, on a scale of 1 to 10, for 340 bucks, the Xiaomi Mi 9T is a major, major, major go. I am totally feeling this phone, and as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. This might be one of the best, if not the best, brand new phone that you could get in 2019 for under 350 bucks. Now, of course, you could get a phone from last year and we can have that debate. Like I know somebody's gonna ask what about the Poco Phone F1? I did like the Poco Phone, but there's two things about the Poco Phone F1 that I really hated. Number one was the build quality and number two, the camera was trash. With the Mi 9T, you got a way better build quality and a better camera. Now with the Poco phone, you did have dual speakers and a slightly better processor. But in the real world, you're not gonna notice the difference between the Snapdragon 730 and the Snapdragon 845. It looks good on paper, but in real life, they're pretty much the same. Only thing with the Poco phone, you're gonna notice them dual speakers. But I hated that build quality. So as of right now, 2019, this might be the best one that you're gonna find for under 350. Let's break it down. First things first. Build quality. Y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now I've seen all three of the colors, but this carbon fiber trim right here, this is so beautiful. All right, so the build quality on this is A1. Glass on the front, glass on the back. You got that aluminum trim. Got a headphone jack. This is a go. The only downside is not water resistant. All right, I'm not really feeling that part too much, but keep this in mind. 340 bucks. So everything that I say I don't like in this video, take it with a grain of salt because look at the price. All right, you'll be hard pressed to find a phone for 340 bucks that has wireless charging and dual speakers, quad HD display, you know, all that good stuff. You get what you get for 340 bucks and this is a lot of get. All right, if you're gonna get what you get, get something like this. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the phone, but before I get to that, let me show you this uh, always on display. Now this is one of the things that's on my checklist that I need on my phone, always on display. Now you can customize this one if you want. You can add a picture, you can add a GIF, you can do whatever you want, but always on display. Now, if you want, you can double tap, swipe up, put in your pin and your pattern, keep it moving. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, and Xiaomi makes one of the best on-screen fingerprint sensors in the game. Trust me, now I'm back here, I'm a little bit moist, giggity because I got my air conditioner off and it's hot outside. If I put the air conditioner on, y'all not gonna hear my voice correctly. You're gonna hear a humming sound, so I gotta turn it off. Now the problem with turning my air conditioner off and making videos back here sweating, it interferes with my fingerprint sensor. But trust me when I tell you, the fingerprint sensor on this is one of the fastest in the game. If you ever use a Xiaomi phone, you already know. Works 100% of the time. And the last way to open up the phone is this face unlock. You see that camera pop up like that? 
That is so sick. Now, the one thing that I don't like about the face unlock on this one is when you press the button, you have to physically swipe up. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's dope. And that LED light on the camera, that's just an amazing touch. If you do this, now I'm not looking at it, I just want y'all to see the light. If you do this at night, when you see that LED, you're gonna feel like James Bond. Trust me when I tell you that. Now another dope thing about this phone, when you open up that camera, shoot, scoot, scoot, you can change the camera sound. I'll, ch I'll show y'all a few different ones in a minute, but right now I got it set to this robot sound. Listen to this. That's transformer status right there. I love that. Shoes, I, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that's the different ways to open up the phone. Let's go through the basic UI. Now, a lot of people, let me, hold up, my chair is squeaking like crazy. A lot of people don't like the me UI, but for me, it's not the best and it's not the worst. It's functional. But there's a couple of things about me UI that I don't like, like you don't have an app tray. You know, I don't like that at all, but you can download Nova Launcher, do your thing. All right, so you got your basic toggles, but you got a few bonus ones. You got your screenshot button and a screen record button. Every phone should have that. A screenshot button and a screen record button. Got everything else, uh, blah, 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 battery saver, screencast, got your reading mode, NFC. Let's go to settings. All right, so we'll do this quick. About phone, we don't need to see that. That's Android 9 VIP. You got your system app up updater. You got security status, SIM card and mobile networks, 4G capable. All right, let's see what else you, shoes is killing me today. Let's see what else you got. Let's go to, I uh, no need to go to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, portable hotspot. Let's go to more. All right, so you got your VPNs, you got NFC, you got Android Beam, tap and pay, all of the goodies. Let's go to display. All right, so this is maximum brightness. It does have great viewing angles, and I love the AMOLED panel. All of the blacks look extra dark, extra crispy. Now you can change your night mode brightness and your night mode color temperature if you want. Contrasting colors. You got warm, default, and cool. I like to leave it cool, and if you want, you can tweak that, you know, make it uh, make it your own. You got dark mode. Now I love having dark mode. It's gonna save your battery, and it just looks way cooler. So always activate dark mode if you have an uh, 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 AMOLED panel. Let's say you got double tap to awake the screen, auto rotate, raise to awake. Wallpapers, themes, sound of vibrations. One bottom firing speaker, and it does sound pretty good. I'll play a clip for you so you, so you can hear it for yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Screenshot sounds. Oh, hold on a second. Where was we? <laughs> Where was we? Let's open that back up. Let's go to sounds. Sound of vibration. Okay, so you got screenshot sound. Disable that immediately. All right, for your clandestine Instagram activities. Lock screen and password. Now, I set the region to India. If you set the region to the USA, you're not going to have face unlock. So you got fingerprints, face unlock, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to advanced settings, see if we need uh, anything. Let's see, I'll uh, show you, uh, let's, let's, let's deactivate this. Don't show any notifications, all right? This is gonna be my trap phone, no need to get blown up. Double tap the volume button down, that'll uh, that's your, uh, launch a camera, so that's your world star gesture. Wake with volume buttons, leave that off, that's too much. Notifications and status bar, add your name if you want. Play with all of those. Full screen display, home screen and recents. Let's see, yeah, uh, nothing to really see there. Second space. Now, I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video because I wasn't, I wasn't sure if this phone had it, but for 340 bucks, you get in a phone that has thought protection, also known as second space. I'll show you how that works in a minute. All right, so you got your battery and percentage. Add that if you want, play with that. Let's go to storage. Now, I believe this is, yeah, 64 gig version. So I ain't really download too many apps. I'm trying to keep everything nice and simple. Let's go to additional settings, region, like I said, India for face unlock. Now there's a bunch of other regions you can play with, but I know for a fact India works. You got a notification light. Here's your front camera effects. Now if you want, you could turn that visual effect off. That's the little LED around the ring, but check this out. You could change the sounds. So listen to these sounds. I'm gonna put it close by the mic. You got xylophone. These are the sounds that it's gonna make when the camera raises and lowers. You got Condor. That's pretty sick. You got Magic. It's a little girly. You got Mecca. Now that's the one I'm using right now. That's the Transformer sound. Listen to that one more time. 
That's pretty sick. You got gear wheel. Oh, that's kind of tough too. Gear wheel. And you got cabin door. Personally, I like Mecca. But that's a nice little feature. Any phone that has a pop-up camera, they need to have it where you can change that sound effect. That's one of the things I loved about the Oppo Find X. You got your accessibility settings. All right, so if you're hearing or visually impaired, you can still use this. You got one-handed mode. You got your me mover, share your files. You got dual apps, you got app lock, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. And there it is. This is the full website with all of the pictures. Nice and smooth. Now, one thing I will say about the Snapdragon 730, it's basically, I wouldn't say a flagship processor, but it's a little bit beneath a flagship. But if you use a flagship phone all day long, then you pick this one up, you're not really gonna notice the difference. Now, I've been multitasking on this one, opening, closing up apps just as fast, no lag, no hiccups at all. And that's part of the reason I was so mad with the Samsung A80. Same processor, same display. This one actually has a bigger battery and way more features for basically half the price. All right, so Samsung, they really going crazy with that A80. This is a way better buy. Now you got split screen multitasking. Let's open that up real quick. Let's see, let's do, um, let's do YouTube. We'll split that up. And let's do, uh, let's see what we got on the bottom. Let's see, did I have anything open? Yeah, we'll do Apple. All right, so I got YouTube at the top, as Apple on the bottom. That down one, he said, even though it's curious, as long as I'm frame perfect, no I problems know, with that. I can guarantee this blockchain. And Gar now, really hold up. Trying to challenge it. Speaking of uh, <laughs> speaking of YouTube, let me show you this display, and we'll rock this same video that I was just playing. Let's open this up. Bullets, playing very carefully. Max screen. Very Look at this. And huge in this is very That's one of the things I love about having a pop-up camera, all screen. That little chin at the bottom, that's nothing. Now watch the speaker. One bottom firing speaker. I wish it would have had dual speakers, but the speaker actually sounds pretty good. The little MK11 hype. Oh. Pretty dope. Now, let me show you some other stuff. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. If your phone is off, you got your world star gesture, just double tap on the volume down, and look how fast that brings you to your camera. Let's go through all of the different modes. You got slow motion, you got short video, regular video, you got photo, you got 48 megapixels, you got portrait mode, you got your night shots, you got panoramic, and pro mode. Now, one of the things that I'm really not too impressed with this phone is the night shots. Right, the night shots, they're not that great. They're not that great at all. And 48 megapixels is pretty gimmicky. All right, now, I'll show you some pictures I took for yourself. The camera's really not bad, but just the night shots, they kind of hurt. All right, they don't really look that good. You got your flash. You got HDR. You got artificial intelligence. Always leave that on. You got your different filters. And you got your settings. So you got your tilt shift, square, you got Google Lens, straighten, timer, and settings. Now, another thing that I don't like about this camera is there's no optical image stabilization. So the video's gonna look a little bit jumpy. Let's go to settings for video. Let's see, uh, video quality, the max is 4K. Now I'm gonna shoot these videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. They look a little bit more stable. If you shoot in 4K, it's gonna take a lot of space. And keep in mind, there's no external memory on this. So you can't, uh, no expandable memory. So shooting 4K videos on a 64 gig phone, that's a no-no. All right, now you got image stabilization, but again, it's not optical, so you'll see the video quality for yourself. Matter of fact, enough talk, check this out.
Okay, so now let me show you one of my favorite features, second space, or as I call it, thought protection. Here's how it works. Now I'm gonna open up the phone using my right thumb. This is my regular finger. If you notice, you see the red wallpaper in the background. Let's go to Facebook. That's me, that's my Facebook. Let's go to Instagram. That's me, that's my Instagram. And let's go to gallery. There's all the photos that I took. Now I'm gonna close the phone up, and this time I'm gonna open it with my left hand, also known as my thought print. Check this out. Notice, no red wallpaper, now it's blue, and all of the apps changed. So basically you got two damn phones at the same damn time. Let's open up Facebook, no Facebook logged in. Let's open up Instagram, no Instagram logged in. We got Tinder, for the scumbag activities, and you got X video for the baby oil patrol. Let's go to gallery, no photos on deck. Now my phone is fully thought protected. And what I mean by that is, you leave your phone somewhere and only a thought is gonna pick up your phone and go through it. Real women are not gonna do that, but if you're dealing with a thought, they're gonna go through your phone. Leave your phone on the table like this. This is for your scumbag mode. Now when I wanna go back to being a gentleman, let's open it up with the right hand. And check this out. Back to my regular Facebook. Back to my Instagram. No thought activities. No Tinder. No X video. Nothing on file. That is so sick. Now the only thing about the budget version of thought protection. It doesn't open as fast as the Huawei phones. You know as instantaneously. But that ain't bad. All right, that ain't a bad transition. Let's switch back to regular. Back to gentleman mode. That's less than two seconds. So you're going from a gentleman to a scumbag in less than two seconds. That's a win. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, like I said, for 340 bucks, this is a triple major go. Now, of course, y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt, so let's just recap all of the things that I don't like, and we'll break them down at the same time. I'll make this quick. No IP rating. The phone is not water resistant, but for 340 bucks, who cares? No expandable memory. Now look, I went the cheap route and got the 64 gig version, but if you want to spend a couple of dollars more, get 128 gigs. Now, if you're not shooting 4K videos all day and not downloading a bunch of apps, 128 gigs, that's plenty. Next, no wireless charge. Now that's not the biggest deal in the world because of the price, 340 bucks. Me personally, if this is gonna be your daily phone or actually my daily phone, I need wireless charge. It's just like buying a TV with a remote control. Once you get used to changing channels from in the bed, you can't buy a TV with no remote. Every time you wanna change the channel, you gotta get up and walk to the TV. Nobody got time for that. And it's the same thing with phones. Once you get used to having no cables and wireless chargers everywhere, that's gonna be high on your checklist. But for 340 bucks, who cares? Next, no dual speakers. Not the biggest deal in the world because the price is right. Next, no optical image stabilization. Not the biggest deal either. And the night shot mode on the camera, not the best. Now here's one of the reasons why you spending a thousand or 800 bucks, even maybe 750, 800. This is one of the reasons why you spend a lot for a cell phone is the camera. That's kind of what separates mid-range budget phones from real hardcore flagships. Not just all of the uh, bells and whistles, the wireless charging and the 4K display or quad HD displays and the dual speakers and the reverse wireless charging. All of that stuff is fine and dandy, but one of the major things that you're paying for when you buy a flagship phone is that camera. Maybe the Google Pixel, that's one of the exceptions, but pretty much if you want a dope camera, you're gonna have to spend some more money. And that's pretty much it. That's all I can really complain about. But for 340 bucks, let's just say it one more time, the price is right. Now the only thing too, if you got Sprint or Verizon, you can't enjoy this, but this is gonna be like, if you're buying a trap phone, buy a trap provider too. All right, if you got Sprint or Verizon as your daily uh, service provider, and you wanna get a trap phone, go to Metro PCS, go to Cricket Wireless, go to Boost, get a little BS SIM card, drop it in here, and rock this as your trap phone. And if you're buying this for kids and you already got a GSM network, they're gonna love this phone. All right, this is the Trap Phone Deluxe, and this carbon fiber is just so sick. Let me drop the case on so y'all can see what it looks like. Like I said, no razivity on the case. 
All right, this is not Slam Boy certified. All the cutouts. Got a little matte finish on the back. I'm back here sweating so you see a little bit of smudges, but it's really not bad. And the camera does work because the top is wide open. Mm! Yo, that camera is just so sick. Normally, I would complain that the camera is not too fast, but when you put it together with that sound, you kind of want it to go slower because you want to see that, you want to enjoy that motion. Now, if it came up super fast, you probably want to get to really enjoy it. But when it comes up slow like this and you got those uh, LEDs on it, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, take it from me. I know how James Bond feels. I got a bunch of high-tech, hardcore gadgets. This feeling that you get when you pull this out and you go like this, if somebody's standing next to you, they're going to say my favorite phrase that I love to hear when I pull out gadgets, let me see that. This phone has the, yo, let me see that factor. And like I said, at nighttime, you're going to love that LED effect. Anyway, Xiaomi Mi 9T, 100%, white shoes approved. Let's get a wipe down for dramatic effect. Bang. This is a major, major, major go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas. Ladies. Say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. From the captain, Enterprise out. All right, so one more thing I wanted to address before I get out of here. A lot of people been hitting me up asking me the same question. Why do I always put my cat in the video? Now, most of the people that ask that question are obviously people that don't own cats. So let me explain it to you. Ask anybody that has a cat and they'll tell you the same thing. I don't put my cat in the video. The cat comes and goes as they please. That's how cats do. Now, Shoes just happens to like hanging out when I do these tech videos and Shoes lives in my house. So I'm not going to hide her in the closet or lock her in the bathroom. It's the same way if I had a little kid running around. I'm not going to lock my kid in the closet while I talk on the phone or while I play video games. The kid lives with me, so they have the right to come and go as they please. And White Shoes lives in my house, so she can come and go as she please. Now look, if that bothers y'all, I don't know what to tell you. But Shoes is a part of my family and a part of my channel, and she ain't going nowhere. Shout out to White Shoes. We out.